Hey guys, Cable here from Beatles Blog. Tonight I'm in Danbury, Connecticut to talk about music and sports. Professional sports, that is. In a moment, we're going to meet some Danbury Whalers, which are professional hockey players. And we're going to talk about how music impacts their career and what it means to them. So, in other words, music is not just about records, albums, and tours. Sometimes music affects people's careers, and we want to explore how they use it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. It's Cabo here from Beatles Blog. And today I'm in Danbury, Connecticut, and I have some professional athletes, and we're going to talk about music. Let's welcome our guests. Julian Frazier, welcome. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, Ryan, welcome. How are you? Matt, how welcome. You what we're going to talk about is these are three professional hockey players for the Danbury Whalers. These are all-star athletes, and these guys live by their profession. But one of the things that we are going to learn in a second is music plays a big part in their life and actually comes into their profession. Julian, let's talk about you. When you come to the arena at the very beginning, through the locker room and even through the pregame, you can hear on the ice there's a lot of music playing. Is that right? Yeah. How does that focus and how does that pull into you as an athlete? Does that inspire you? Does that do something with your psych? getting ready for the game yeah well, I mean certain kinds of music uh, motivate me definitely definitely when I listen to guys like Motley Crue and stuff like that it gets me a little more fired up but uh, yeah that's how it influence, influences me now Matt I know when I hear the team come out I know that some of you guys have special requests for songs talk about that for a second yeah sometimes uh, guys like to get amped up um, in the locker room the music's a little different than it would be uh, when we're coming onto the ice so we want something you know a little bit uh, upbeat you know maybe a little bit heavy um, you truly, really, you know, get us into it and get us fired up. So, Ryan, once the game gets started, you hear between breaks there's music playing. Obviously, when when the game is going on, there's no music. But do you pay attention? Do you notice the music? Like if there's a particular uh, important point in the game when when it's late in the third period and you're down in the offensive zone and you're trying to score, do you notice when the music tries to get the crowd going? Do you pay attention as a player? Yeah, I can notice it, especially during uh, some of the home games with the DJs we have. I'm about, I'm a big house EDM guy. So oh, okay. Yeah, one of those songs comes on, I definitely, definitely it, hear it. You feel it. it. You yeah. feel it. Okay. Julie, when you go on the road, you don't have your people there. You don't have your DJ there. What's the difference when you're on the road in another arena with the music? Ah, uh, well, I mean, the away team playing what they want to hear, right? So, uh, or the home team, sorry, is playing what they want to hear. Uh, you, I don't know. I just gotta. I listen to my own iPod and get fired up my own way, so. Is it different, Matt, on the road? It, it can be. Uh, that's why we, we always have our, uh, you know, our little box with us and we have our, our pre-game uh, music that we like to listen to. We have uh, one, you know, pretty much mix that we listen to as we're getting ready before the game. And then when you go on the ice, you can't control it, right? Because it's the other, uh, the other team's building, so we get to call the shots. Now, you know, Ryan, it's still a song, the national anthem. Talk about that as an athlete. You see all you guys out lined up on the ice, and you're all looking forward. Are you hearing the music? I know sometimes guys might be thinking about the game, but are you, are you hearing the feel of the national anthem? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you hear it at the start of every game since, you're, since you start playing. So I think it's a more of a respect thing, but you sit there and that's when you really dial in and focus. And that's when you know the game's you know, about to get underway. So. Julian, favorite group? Ooh. <laughs> it's gotta be a country thing. I'll say right now, I'd go with Florida Georgia Line. Really? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're a big fan of them right now, so. Matt? Corn uh, and the Osprey. Really? Okay, Brian? I'm a big Hardwell guy. Okay. Now I'm surprised from the two Canadian guys here, we're not hearing Rush? <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? I, I, I am I'm a little bit of a fan, but uh, no, they, they wouldn't crack my, my top five. Guys. Okay. Yeah. Julian, favorite song? Oh, man. That's, there's a lot, a lot of good songs out there. Um, Cruise. Nice. Okay. Matt? Um, there, like, like you said, there's a ton. Uh, one that I like to play, particularly myself, is uh, Self Esteem by The Offspring. Okay. It's a classic punk rock song. Ryan, you? Yeah, I mean, there's one that I could definitely play over and over again. It's uh, Alive by Corella. 
Nice. Okay. All right. Julian, do you have one favorite song that inspires yeah. you when you come out on the ice? That gets you going during pregame? I'd have to say Kickstart My Heart. I think I've heard that here. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Matt? i uh, probably remember the name of Fort Minor. Okay. Brian? Um, probably Spaceman by Hardwell. Nice. Julian, instrument you'd love to play if you could? Acoustical. Acoustic? Yeah. Matt? Um, the electric. Electric guitar, okay. Ryan? Uh, believe it or not, even though I'm big EDM, I'd love the acoustic guitar. Really? No drummers here, huh? No, I mean, I would, I'd enjoy it, but I'm more of a, definitely more of an electric guitar guy for sure. All right, all right, guys. I know you have a game to get to in a pregame meeting. I thank you so much. The Danbury Whalers, what can you say? Music comes in every part of our lives, and even for professional athletes, it affects everyone. Guys, thank you so much. Good luck tonight. I hope you kick some ass. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. Anyways, thanks to the Danbury Whalers here in Danbury, Connecticut. I want to thank Julian, Matt, and Ryan. Thank you so much, Coach Esposito. Also, special thanks to Alan Friedman and Herm Sorcher. It was a great one tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to catch you again on Beatles Blog. Thanks a lot.